leaders. God will give us shepherds. God will give us pastors. God will give us leaders. God will give us pastors. God will give us bishops and first lady elect. God will give us leaders. God will give us teachers. God will give us pastors. God will give us shepherds. Now watch it now. He said he will give you a certain kind of leader, a certain kind of pastor. Scripture says that he will give you one after his own heart. And I said, well, well, well God, how, how will they lead us? He said they will lead you in knowledge and understanding. That's what the word says. And so, I, and as I read that, I, I had a whole other sermon set up. Right? And God said, now look, look, go over here and deal with this. I know, I know you want to talk about God's masterpiece, but they are God's masterpiece because they're faithful to the work that God has laid on their hearts. Amen, somebody. Amen. And, and so I just, want, I just want to talk about God's servants this this afternoon, I just want to talk about God's servant. He says, God will, Come on, will give us. Mm -hmm. now, 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 notice who's doing the giving. Oh, come on, God, the creator and sustainer of all mankind. Uh -huh. God who's omnipotent. God who is everywhere at the same time. God who is eternal. He is so large until he bumps into himself. Y'all just missed that. Uh -huh. But he can be so small until he can get into your prayer closet. Come on, sir. That's who is doing the giving. Now you gotta be careful now uh -huh. where you worship at. You gotta be careful who you sit up on because the spirit, the scripture says in 2 John, I think it's 1 and 7. He said, Now some have gone out among you. Uh -huh. <laughs> they are deceivers. And they're teaching a false doctrine. They're not lifting up the name of Jesus. He said, you better be careful. Yes, sir. But, but, but this text, this text tells us in Jeremiah 3 and 15, he said, God will give this leadership team. Mm. He will give you shepherds who will have a heart for God. Well, Reverend, how, how do you know they have a heart for God? They've made it to year number five. Uh -huh. Well, Pastor, what's so important about year number five? That's the year of God's grace. Hello, somebody. That's the year of God's grace. That's the year of God's goodness and His grace. Now, watch this here because goodness uh, and grace is a good thing, but if you flip that word and take it to the Hebrew and you find that not only is number five God's goodness and His grace, but you also find out that it's God's, in Hebrew, God's saving and being rescued. Watch this here. God will give y'all leaders after His own heart to lead you and teach you how to be saved and how to be rescued from the false doctrines that go forth out in. Y'all missing this thing. I'm trying to tell you what you got on you now. And we are to honor our leadership who has a heart for God. Yeah. Come on, God. Amen. Now let me throw this in for free. Because when you remove the titles, it's husband and wife. It's man and woman. They're human. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. They will be errors. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, there's a brother by the name who he, he was anointed when he was a teenager. Uh -huh. they, they called him David. Uh -huh. uh, David blew a big time. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day, there were too many folk in the Bible who said, hey, this is a man after my own. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, what, what I'm saying is, recognize them for their humanness, but understand that they have an anointing on them. Because they have been called to lead and shepherd God's people. They are the team who have been mm, given the heart of God. And that's how they operate. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they've been sent from God, by God, to do a wonderful and powerful work in this appointed time. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. They didn't come too early. They, they didn't come too late. 
they came at the appropriate time to do the ministry that God has called them. You are here because of the ministry that God has attached to their hands. Now here, here's what I need your help at. GPDM. I, I need you. Mm. If, if this leadership team has birthed you mm -hmm. and blessed you, now, in order for this leadership team to go higher in the Lord and to rise to greater grace. Now, I said that they're the shepherd, right? That means that you all are the sheep. The shepherd can't get no sheep. Sheep get sheep. So if what this leadership team is producing and benefiting and blessing you, then you need to go out into the community and say, bad. We have a bad leadership team. Y'all don't hear me. You give me a minute. That's sheep talk for the same children of God. They both are bad. Gotta go out and tell somebody. I said that they were sick by God. And they have a heart for the work of God. But not only do they have a heart for the work of God, but watch this here. They're not going to deceive you because they have been. They have been, let me see how I want to say that. They have been indoctrinated. They have been led, led down into the storehouse of God to receive the knowledge and understanding of God. Let me see. I think Jeremiah says something in there. I know it's in there. He said, it's like fire shut up in my bowl. I thought I was going to keep it to myself, but I got to tell somebody. This is how they teach and preach. It's like fire. Y'all ever seen now, Bishop? He, he come out, he all boasted about the tear out of that suit, and he said, I, I just got to tell some, somebody what the Lord has said. He can't keep it to himself because he has this precious word of God. Yes, yes. That he must share yes. with the children of God. Yes. Because we can't grow unless we have knowledge. We can't, we, and then the knowledge has to be beneficial. Yes. The, the knowledge has to be keen and, and the knowledge has to be sent from on high. We don't listen to enough TV evangelists. Y'all right. right. yeah, quiet. You, you don't send enough $38 and $58 seeds to the... Come on, now. But some of us won't even bless the man and woman of God. But we'll send somebody who don't know us, never knew us, and never will know us. But we got a team right here sent from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Come on, now. And so we are to honor them because they have been sent from God. Yes. And they have a heart for the work of God. What a, I mean, I met them a year ago. Mm -hmm. And they have embraced me. Yes, embraced St. James. Yes. Embraced the ministries. Yes. And a fellowship has developed yes. out of that faithfulness and that relationship. Yes. Hello, somebody. I, I don't run all over town for no anybody. I'm missing everybody's NFL game today. Help me, somebody. But I came to bless the man and woman of God for the great work that you have done and are doing. Hello, somebody. Ministry is hard work. Now watch this. I don't want to offend nobody. And then when you're a black pastor over a black congregation, it don't get no easier. Hello, somebody, y'all. 
Y'all know y'all we y'all can make the work. Y'all have us on now. Send us to the altar. Help us, Jesus. Am I lying? I'm telling the truth. I've been black all my life. Amen, somebody. But this is God's masterpiece. This is God's tag team. This is God's dynamic duo. And we're here to celebrate who they are in Christ and what they have poured in our life. Some of us are where we are because of this dynamic duo. Some of us have received empowerment and we have walked through doors that our, our, our bishop and first lady elect said that we can do it. Because we got a word of empowerment after they had prayed for us. Oh, man, some of us have children who are blessed and highly favored because our tag team, our dynamic duo, that, that dynamic duo that was sent from God has labored and laid on their face before the Lord, calling our name before the Lord, and then come down here to this church to edify us that God might be glorified. But they came to bless us and edify us so that we may be what God has called us to be. That's the purpose of being a shepherd. And so we ought to bless them for the work that they are performing day in and day out. When you're not even thinking about it. When you, you out doing what you want to do. You with your boo. Hello, somebody. And they're calling your name before the Lord. Y'all quiet on me. They've been sent by God with a heart for the work of the Lord. And in other words, they don't have to do any old kind of way. When you share your business with them, you ain't got to worry about it showing up in somebody else's Facebook page. <laughs> You ain't got to worry about being on somebody's Instagram account. Because they're going to keep it to the themselves. That they're going to take what you share with them and they're going to, now it may show up. It's going to show up on God's Facebook account. Hello, somebody. They may Skype God and say, your, your, your daughter, sister Shirley is struggling, but Lord, I want to intercede on her behalf. Can you send some mercy? Yeah, boy, I don't know. I'm just talking about this leadership team that you have here. They're loving, they're warm, they've been sent by God, and they have a heart for ministry. I know they have a heart for ministry. They gotta have a heart for ministry. They're in the middle of a book here. And I mean, they traveling up and down the highways and dangerous byways just to meet over here at a place to do the work of the Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ministry is hard, y'all. Most churches normally fold up and lock their doors in the first three years. Hello? Am I right about it? And we're at year number five. You, 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 you cannot last that long except God be for you. And if God be for you, he's more than the work. I wish I had somebody to call it that. Tag team. Dynamic duo. Awesome woman and man of God. All I'm asking is that you keep your hand on the gospel plow. Keep your hand in the hand of a man. Somebody said he's a light guard who can walk on water. I like that. My, 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 my. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep, keep, you got some beautiful examples in the Bible when, when God sent some under shepherds, when he sent Abraham, and when he sent David, and when he sent Jeremiah, and, and Isaiah just went ahead and confessed. Uh, I'm just like a little dirty person. Uh, and, and the angel of the Lord went and got some coals and came back and put it on his mouth. And God said, now nah, I got a situation down in Buckhead and, and I need somebody to go for me. And he looked down yonder and came to the 21st century and saw the McClintons and said, and they said, I'll go. Yeah. 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 
Help me, Holy Ghost. And we are to honor them for how they have blessed us, labored with us, taught us, preached to us, prayed for us. Help me, Holy Ghost. Have done what God has asked them to do. Have sacrificed, sacrificed, gave up themselves. Now, I'm going to give you something out of business. You, you ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to go to my seat. They didn't even pay some bills. And the bills didn't have their name on it. And we are to celebrate them for the heart that they have for ministry. Because it says to us, great is their faithfulness unto the Lord. And I say to you again today, you and I are here because of their faithfulness, because of their heart for ministry, and because of their godly knowledge and understanding. And they can't do this by themselves. That they have a spirit that down on the inside of them. That that won't let them keep quiet. And that spirit came to them from Jesus after Jesus had paid the fare for them. Hello, somebody. See, how many of you know that you get a whole lot when you meet Jesus? Mm -hmm. I, I know you were living any old kind of way, but when you meet Jesus, he'll clean you up and turn you around and place your feet on solid ground. Hello, somebody. And now we have a dynamic duo that has been cleaned up, turned around, and their feet is now on solid ground. And we are here because of their relationship with Christ Jesus who paid the fare for them many years ago. Y'all know what I'm saying. When they feel them in the side and nail them in his hand and strike them in his feet and crown them with thorns and gamble them with
to take it. God has given us dominion and power. Let us pray, let us pray, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for godly leadership. We thank you for this dynamic team, the McClintons. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in their ministry. We thank you, Lord, that they're not ashamed of the gospel. We thank you, Lord God, for the congregation that you have assembled them. Now, Lord, we pray after five years of beautiful ministry, some days were dark days, and some days were dreary days. Some days they had to cry all night long. But, Lord, you saw them through it all, and we thank you for that. Now, Lord, it's my prayer that you will continue to anoint them, continue to lift them and lead them to higher and greater endeavors. Bless this congregation, Lord, as they continue to believe in the ministries that are being birthed from this dynamic team. Oh, Lord God, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. And neither has it entered into the heart of man what you have in store for this ministry called God's power and deliverance. I pray that you have your way with them and do what only you can do through your son Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior and the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Amen.